It is said that the work of encouraging vocations is everyone's job. Reporter Peggy Weber tells us how a local prayer group is doing its job in helping to nurture vocations to the priesthood, diaconate, and consecrated life. Take this, all of you, and eat of it. The work of vocations is a true team effort. According to Father Gary Daly, Director of Vocations for the Diocese of Springfield, it's his job, but not his alone. I think one of the dangers in many dioceses, and we talk about this as vocation directors, is that many bishops and many priests will see the vocation director as the sole person with regard to vocations. However, in Western Mass, Father Gary has a lot of help, including a vocations team. We have 10 priests on a vocation awareness team. They're all priests that have been ordained in the last 10 years, young, vibrant, energetic, and I'm hoping that they will assist me in vocation ministry in the diocese. Also helping to raise awareness of vocations are all who pray. The Adoration Chapel at Christ the King Parish in Ludlow was set up specifically to pray for vocations. It began 10 years ago, and since then, the numbers tell the story. One-third of the priests of the Diocese of Springfield have been ordained in the last 10 years. And so I, I think that that's really a, a great tribute to the prayer of the people in the, in the persistent prayer uh, of not only that chapel, but throughout the whole diocese. The work of vocations is not just the work of Father Gary or a vocations office or a committee. It is the work of all of us. Many groups understand that and work hard at praying for vocations. The Prayer Senegal for the Marian Movement for Priest has been meeting every Tuesday for the past 25 years in Marie Goebel's home in Chicopee. A basket of prayer intentions is available each week, and they often pray for priests, seminarians, and vocations. Marie says it is so important to support priests. When I see a priest after confession or whatever, I'll say, oh, Father, will you please do me a favor? And he said, oh, of course. I said, take care of yourself because we need you. Well, it's amazing, the response. They are, they're so happy. Conventual Franciscan Father Merrick Stabor, who helps celebrate the silver anniversary of the prayer group, says he appreciates the support of the group. As Pope Benedict said, help the priests to believe in their priesthood. And I feel that Group like, like this is the group who make commitment. Not only say, I will pray for you, Father, but they really mean what they say. When I was at the Catholic University of America, sometimes I was receiving a little card from Marie and the, and the group saying, we spent an hour of adoration for your intention. And I felt, wow, thus I know why I get all this energy. Other groups are praying for vocations and supporting their priests. Members of the Worldwide Marriage Encounter hold a World Priest Day each year. Couples spend an hour in prayer for the clergy. And the prayer helpers of the Precious Blood Group in Ludlow pray for a different priest in the diocese every single day. They also meet the last Saturday of the month at Christ the King Parish in Ludlow at 2 p.m. to pray a rosary and chaplet of divine mercy for priests. Father Gary says he is grateful for all of the prayers and is optimistic about vocations. The vocations is almost cyclical. We're, we're almost where we began uh, seven or uh, ten years ago when I first came into the vocation office where I came into seven men. Last year we had eight men. We ordained two and then this year we accepted an additional six men so we have 12 men in the seminary. You know there's four or five or six interested in next year so we're beginning to build the numbers back up again. And Father Gary thinks that the numbers will rise again. The vast majority, vast majority, 90 plus percent of priests are happy. And I think that's a great vocation cell right there. Father Gary encourages anyone who's contemplating a vocation to the priesthood to really take the time to reflect on it. This call to priesthood is not natural. It's supernatural. And the call from Christ to be a priest is really unlike any other call that anyone could receive. And not to answer that call or even to give it a thought would be unfair. 
unfair to the young man, but also unfair to God. Father Gary says simply and with a smile that the priesthood is an awesome life. He asks all to continue to do their part and pray. For Real to Real, I'm Peggy Weber. And for more information about priesthood or religious life, you can go to diospringfield.org and click on the vocations link.